so we are going to create this effect in Adobe Photoshop which is called the hood light effects and magical light effect so let's get started <laughs> This is the image which we have selected. All right, let's unlock this layer by clicking this lock icon from here. All right now, let's come over here on the adjustment panel. If it is not shown over here, go to the windows and select adjustments. All right now, let's select the hue and saturation adjustment layer, and it is it will open over here. And now, and if it is not opening over here, it might be opening over here for you. All right. What I've done, I've just clicked it and drag it over here in order to properly work on this layer so that I get this face free. All right. So let's increase, let's decrease the saturation way too much, maybe around minus 68. If you want, you can even change the hue of this image, but this is not what we want from here. So I'll make it back to zero. And let's increase the light a little bit. All right. Let's create a new fill layer. Go to the layers and select new fill layer and select solid color. You can even change the color from here, but we don't we don't want so select OK. And it will allow you to select the colors. We'll take the black color for this case and press OK. And now right click and select convert to smart object. Now go to the filters and select render and select difference clouds and once again let's again do this go to the filter and difference cloud it will show up over here the last filter which you have applied you can even press the control F or command F on your keyboard all right let's do it once again every time we'll do it it will randomize all these patterns so unless we are happy with the patterns we'll keep on doing it okay. difference cloud basically we want the light color uh, clouds so that we can create the hot lights with that all right now it's okay let's right click it and select convert to smart object or to the filters choose blur and choose motion blur and let's Take the angle to 41% and distance to way up 2000 pixels and press OK. And once it is applied, now go to the change the layer blend mode to screen and it is applied. But we want to define it, so let's create a new layer mask. Choose the soft edge brush, make sure it is soft edge with zero hardness. Let's take the opacity to 30%. You can increase it from here or as well as from your keyboard. You can press 3 for 30%, 1 for 10%, 2 for 20%. And if you press 0, it will again turn back to 100%. And make sure you have the black color from here. If it is not, press T on your keyboard and it will turn to default color, black and white. And let's flip it over by pressing X and now we'll have the black as a foreground color and let's increase the size of the brush and remove this from this and make sure you have selected the layer mask otherwise it will affect the main layer and that will ruin our effect okay so let's remove it from here also because we want this hot light to have only on this this part of the image or the entire image because that would look fake All right so let's remove it from here and now it's okay now let's create a new blank layer and choose the air blend mode to screen this time we'll take the white color and start painting on the corner so that it appears that there is some kind of a sun and light is com coming from that side or from that a that source you can even paint in, paint in a little bit more let's create a new levels adjustment and let's take the shadows towards the right 
because we want this side of the image to be darker and this side to be lighter right so I think this is sufficient if you want you, even you can refine it by clicking on the layer mask icon again choosing brush and black color press one right and if you want you can remove it from this area so that this area looks more bright right and uh, let's mix it a little bit let there be some more light right so our effect is ready you can press F number of times on your keyboard sorry make it flow full screen press ctrl 0 or command 0 to fit it on the screen so this is the image or the, this is the effect which we have created and let me show you the start image so this is from where we have started and now this is is our final result so thank you so much and if you like today's episode please don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel for more tutorials every week thank you so much